Okay, guys, it's prime time. I'm here at the Harbin Snow and Ice Festival, and I've been looking forward to this for so long. I've been wanting to come here for a long, long time. I've got my ticket, look. It's uh, about 270 RMB to come in. I've got my ticket, and uh, any minute now, we're going to be going in. They haven't opened the doors yet, by the looks of it, but I think we'll be going in soon. It's really busy here, loads of people. It's the first night, I think it's a soft opening. I've actually bought two tickets, one for today and one for tomorrow. It's a bit crazy here at the moment, but uh, I, think, I think we're going in soon. I don't know if people are going in yet or not, but um, let's give it a go. I'm super excited. Oh, it's okay, so I seem to have a blue ticket. Everybody else has got a red ticket. I don't know why. Oh, hold on. <laughs> you speak English? A little. A little. Why why this blue ticket and some red ticket? What's the difference? <laughs> It's blue one. It's a blue one. Oh, why is some red, some blue? What's the difference? I don't know. Oh, okay. She's here. He's doing my ticket. He's scammed me in. I'm good to go. Whoa, I'm in, man. Oh my god, this is going to be super exciting, I think. Whoa, look at that! That is... Oh my god, look at that! Oh my god, that is crazy cool. There's a map on the wall over here, let's just have a look at that. Bike is huge, man. Look at that. Oh, my word. Look at this. It's nuts, man. <laughs> Whoa. I can't believe all this is built of ice. That's crazy. Can you believe they built that from ice? That's huge, man. So, I have a video of where they're actually building this um, construction. It's got loads of cool drone footage in of all the guys building it. So if you want to see that video, check it out here, because that's a really good video, the way they're building it all. But it's just mental how they can build all this out of ice. Just check that out, man. And it's all got LED lighting inside it and everything. Oh my. I think, I think tonight, it's, it's the 17th of December. And I actually think this is a bit of a soft opening um, before they open properly. I think the proper opening is tomorrow. It's a bit strange though, because the guy on the door told me it wasn't open, but it obviously is. It's absolutely huge. I honestly don't know how they build such structures out of snow and ice. It's just mental. Look at this. Oh, everything's all wired with LED lighting and everything. Man. I've got to say, this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this on this scale. Oh, I'm going to have to bring my uh, my drone here tomorrow night and uh, get some drone footage for you guys. Because this is just something on another level, man. It's absolutely mad. In fact, I'm so excited, I don't feel cold anymore. Look at this. It's epic, isn't it? Look at the structures. Oh, there's a big wheel over there, look. wonder if the blue ticket lets you on the big wheel, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to have to go on there, though. It is absolutely amazing, really. I mean, I've been coming here for the last three days in the daytime, watching with my drone and watching them construct it. And, and now I'm finally inside. And I'm, I'm just breathless, man. I just don't know how they can 
do such stuff out of ice. I mean, I, I suppose it's just like building with bricks. But I just, ice is slippy. How do they make it all stick together? I have no idea. But it's absolutely mental, look. It got like, oh, there's the big Ferris wheel over there, man. It's just so nice. It is so nice. It's still tidying up a little bit, I think. Because, um, as I say, it's like a pre-opening as far as I'm aware. I don't know what that is over there. I'm going to check that out later, but look at this. Look at that. How on earth? do they build this and i wonder what all the guys do who build it after after it's finished look at this it's ice steps and an ice bridge how bloody cool is that it is just mental man it's absolutely crazy wow that's mad look at this the steps are made from ice have you ever been up an ice stairway before? I haven't, that's for sure. Oh man. And look at this building in the middle. Holy moly. It's absolutely crazy, isn't it? Look at that. Oh my God. They've put like this um, fabric on the stairs so they're not slippy. Because obviously if it was just ice, you'd be slipping all over the place, wouldn't you? So what I'm also going to do, I'm going to do a walk video here as well, where they actually walk around it all so you can see it all. If you want to grab that, you can go to my walk fly drive channel and uh, get it there. Oh, we've got a character here, look. I wonder if he's warming that or is he cold? Hello. Hello. Man, it's spectacular. I just find it unbelievable. Uh, this is all built out of ice, man. It is just beyond, it's kind of beyond belief, really. Look at it, it's so lovely. Oh, this must be the center attraction here, look. This great big thing. Look at this. It's absolutely fantastic. I've literally waited three or four years to come here all the time I've been in China, I've wanted to come and I never have. And then when I had the opportunity, it was COVID. So I wasn't able to, but now I've come and I'm seeing this. It is just, it's just stunning. It's just incredible that, you know, I think, they, I think it only takes them a couple of weeks to build it all. So I'd love to know what the planning is behind all this. Cause it's pretty amazing really. I mean, look at it all. So much of it. It's a huge area. I didn't realise it was so big. It doesn't look so big when you're droning it, but when you get in here, it's huge. It's very cold, mind you. Right now, it's about minus... It's probably about minus 20-something. But you, because I'm excited of being here, I don't feel cold. But I am super, super impressed. The way all these big ice blocks have all been built into such a structure. It's like a, literally, they've built a city out of ice. That's what they've literally done. They've built a city from ice. And that's got to be like cool, isn't it? But it's also quite strange. I've been in Harbin like five days now. And in the whole time I've been here, I haven't seen one other foreigner. I mean, do, do foreigners not come here? It, it is challenging for sure, the weather. It's, it's as a, somebody who's not used to dealing with temperatures this low, it is very, very challenging. And especially when you're trying to fill because equipment and batteries and your hands, you, you can't operate the equipment with gloves on. So you take your gloves off and, you know, your, your hands and stuff. Oh my God, there's loads more over there. Bloody hell, it's massive. Um, so it's challenging, but I tell you what, if you, if you're an expat living here in, um, China, you want to be coming here because it is absolutely stunning. Oh, let's go and have a look around this. Look at that. 
It's, it's, it is bloody amazing, really. Ah, oh, man. I wonder what time it stays open till. I hope it's like 10 o'clock or something. I hope it doesn't close too early. There's a lot of people in here. But saying that, I, I got to the station. It was busy. Um, you can get here on Metro Line 2. And the station is actually called Ice and Snow World. Well, let's have a look here. Wow. Look at this. It's just amazing, man. Look at that. Look at all the ice, man. Oh, yeah. And uh, the ticket was about, um, I think it's about 288 RMB to get in. And I had a blue ticket, which I'm not at this point sure why I had a blue ticket. There's different color tickets. There was blue tickets. There was red tickets and there was green tickets. Um, I just presume there was one type of ticket and that's what I got. Um, she gave me a blue one. So I don't know whether that means... I don't know whether that means I can go on other things or not. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No. I can't go up there at the minute, apparently. As I say, I think it is a soft opening tonight. Um, this is, this is well thought out. They've got all like this, this kind of fabric that they've stuck to the steps so you don't actually slip. This must be the largest if not one of the largest ice structures in the world, I guess, because I, I don't know anywhere else that has something like this. And, you know, let me know in the comments if you know any different, but I, this has got to be one of the, the biggest ice structures in the whole world. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is it's really big, man. I'm going to work my way over to the... Uh, the Ferris wheel over here. It's the first time I've seen it all lit up because I've been droning it in the daytime, in the mornings. Um, and as I say, if you wanna, if you wanna uh, check out that um, drone footage video, um, you can pop over to my Walk Flight Drive channel because I'll be putting it on there. But uh, oh, I've got a, this truck looks as if it's got a bit stuck here. Oh, they're trying to get it out, it's got stuck in the snow. I think he's giving it too much rev though, he needs to put it in second gear. Yeah, he ain't gonna get out revving it like that, is he? Oh, <laughs> Look at this, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't really know what to say, because I've not ever seen or experienced anything like this before and it was just amazing well what's this is it some sort of toboggan run let's have a look oh it looks like some sort of toboggan run this does is it a toboggan run oh no i think i think that's for sledges but people seem to be walking on it i don't think they're supposed to be walking down it i think you're supposed to be sliding down here I think this is for sliding down. I think you're meant to get some sort of uh, thing to sit in. Maybe because it's the soft opening tonight, it's not available, but um, I reckon that's what it's for. They look like some, some sort of bobsleigh or luge kind of runs they do. You know, let's carry on up here and have a look. Yeah. We'll walk all the way up to the top. Oh, I don't know whether we can. Well, maybe we can. It's getting a bit difficult. Oh, whoa, 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 see? That's why it's difficult. You gotta be careful. Yeah, perhaps, uh, perhaps that's not an option. I think I'll go back down. Yeah, that wasn't so clever. I thought this was a pathway up here, but it's obviously not. This is some sort of ride, I reckon. I don't reckon you're supposed to be walking down there, I reckon. After some sort of slide, maybe. I'm not sure, though. I could be wrong, but, uh, Maybe we'll see tomorrow, because I've actually bought tickets for two days, because I didn't think one day would be enough. Oh, wow, he really is smart. It looks like they're still doing a little bit of tidying off, but that's expected. I, mean, uh, I have no idea how long 
it takes them to build this. But I've seen a huge amount of progress in like the two or three days I've been coming here. Burying some cables here, look. But yeah, I mean, even, even yesterday, the place was full of cranes and bulldozers and diggers. And today it's all like, it's all, oh, these steps haven't got that fabric on. These are slippy, so I need to be a bit careful on these, I reckon. Don't want to be uh, slipping over and falling. Ah, oh, Nihal! Nihal! Ah. Whew. I'm actually getting a bit hot now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you're supposed to... I think you're supposed to slide down them, actually. I reckon you should... I reckon you need to sit on something and slide down them. But uh, it's obviously not open yet. Ah, you see, that's what you need. You need one of these to slide down, look. She's got the right idea. She must have bought that herself because I haven't seen any of them anywhere. It's a sled kind of run, so I thought so. These are like the Russian dolls over here, look. See? Oh, the colours are just spectacular. It's really, really nice, man. Ah, look at all that. How? I don't know. It's, uh, it's quite mind-blowing, really. It really is quite mind-blowing. I'm extremely impressed by what they've done here. Um, I would 150% recommend you come and visit here because it's it is absolutely spectacular um it's hard to kind of explain the size it's on really it's it's a must be a huge task mind you it must make money it's great for um harbin it must bring a huge amount of tourists but as i say all the tourists i've seen here are from china i haven't seen one foreigner in the whole time I've been here, and that's um, that's pretty amazing, really. Maybe maybe the cold weather scares them off or something. I don't know, but uh, definitely worth coming to. Definitely, lots of photographers here. I guess there's a lot of press here today because it's the opening day. It'll be uh, reported in a lot of press around China. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello! Hello. <laughs> okay, we can go through now. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, it just goes on and on and on. Well, I've seen this a number of times on videos, but I'm finally here and it's pretty exciting really. It's um it, it's even better than what you think. You've gotta come here man, it's it's amazing really, it really is, and I'll keep saying that, but I'm, I'm just gobsmacked by the amount of effort they must put into this. Um, and although you may think the tickets are expensive, it's like, it's about £30 English, which in um, Chinese terms is probably a little high, but the amount of effort they've put into this is just incredible. It's. Uh, for me, it's 100% worth that price for sure. So I'm gonna have to go for one of these uh, bintang, um, chow mein bintang. I really, really like them. They're a little bit expensive at 25 yuan, but I suppose you gotta expect that from a tourist place. This way, this way. Oh, there you go, look. Chow mein bing tang, love these. Holy moly, that's cold. Roddy, how did you eat it? The strawberries are frozen. I can't buy the strawberries, they're frozen, man. Oh my god, how do I deal with that? I didn't think about that. I need to go inside so the strawberries can thaw out a bit. So I've come inside here and I've managed to warm up a little bit. It's, uh, I was absolutely freezing. I was walking around out there for 
almost two hours shooting video and uh, having a look around. And uh, it's quite interesting here. There's uh, quite a range of shops. There's a Pizza Hut over there. There's a KFC. Many restaurants and little stores in here. Places to eat, drink. And there's even a stage in the middle where a woman's performing. Starbucks is not here yet, look. Opening soon. I was actually looking for some coffee. Um, but uh, I believe uh, KFC do coffee, so I might go and um, see if I can get a coffee at KFC. Okay, so coffee sorted. And I've uh, come back out to have a little more walk around. There's a couple of uh, things over here which are just amazing. There's this like Chinese temple. Uh, it's just all pretty awesome, really. Um, they're really, really good. There's, uh, there's definitely a lot to see here. It's, uh, it's a huge area. I don't know exactly how big it is. I'll try and find out, but um, yeah, it's, it's really good. And I've actually bought tickets to come tomorrow as well. Because uh, I thought I'd, it's uh, pretty tiring walking around, taking video all the time in this weather. As I said before, it's really challenging. You know, you can't have your hands outside your gloves for, for very long because they just freeze, man. Anyway, let's head over to the big Ferris wheel. It's a very large one. Not sure quite how tall it is, but you have some cool drone shots of it as well. Oh, yeah. oh my God. That's not the cue for the wheel, is it? Surely. Bloody hell, I think it is. Holy moly. That's the cue for the wheel. Ah, <laughs> Nihal. <laughs> it's a, for this. Yeah. Okay, is this here? Whoa. Massive cue for the wheel. Oh my god, I ain't waiting in that tonight. I'm gonna have to get here early tomorrow and go on that. I don't want to wait in all this queue. That's just too much, man. Oh, I should have gone on it earlier. There wasn't many people waiting earlier. Snakes all around here. Oh my god, it goes all around there. Look how far it goes, man. Bloody hell. It'll be here all night waiting for that. But it does look pretty good. I'll come back tomorrow. But if there's a queue like this when I arrive tomorrow, I ain't going to be waiting in that. That's just way too much. So the queue comes all round here. Wow. And this is where it finally goes, man. God. It takes so long to, to get around there. Man. I'd like to go on. I well, ain't gonna wait that long for sure. I think it's time to quit for tonight. Uh, I've got editing to do um, back at the hotel. And I'm getting a bit cold and tired now. It's getting, I don't know, it's about eight o'clock, I think. It's weird here because it gets dark at like four o'clock. So you actually feel it's later than it is. Like in the UK. In the winter time, oh, I suppose it's not much different. In the summertime in the UK, it doesn't get dark till 10 o'clock. Well, you don't get that in China unless you go up to Xinjiang. Um, like Shenzhen, it's dark to about half six, seven o'clock. But here in the winter in Harbin, it's dark at four o'clock, just after four. So it feels like really weird um, because you don't realise what time it is. You think it's uh, later than it is. Okay, so I hope this video was enjoyable for you. It's really been enjoyable for me. Um, as I say, check out the video I'm going to put up about the construction of it, because that will be an interesting one. Um, if you do like the video, please, please give it a thumbs up. It will mean the world to me. And if you do like the channel or interest in China content, um, consider hitting that subscribe button however as always for now take care